Hey, so got myself some cheap contact mics. Contact mics are a thing that I've, I've always been interested in, but I just haven't invested in. And I saw a guy on the field recording Slack, Teo, I think his name was. He went to some diving chamber or some crazy contraption, and he was using these contact mics. I don't know, there's, they're, they're all over the internet and they're very cheap. Yesterday I put them on my oven to get some good sounds from there. And at first I plugged them straight into the mix pre, and it sounded pretty tiny and weak. It sounded like this. And it is uh, still usable, but it's not what I was hoping for with the mics. And then I had the idea of plugging them into this DI box, and so a guitar cable into here, and then the XLR I put into the mix pre, and it strengthened the signal loads, and it gave it a better a uh, frequency response as well, especially in the lows, like not super lows, but it gave them a decent sound. It wasn't as tinny and useless as the other sound. It sounds like this. All in all, they're they're pretty they're okay contact mic. They're very noisy. Don't have a lot a massive frequency range. I think the recordings I did it was getting to around twelve k maybe twelve fifteen k. But they sound okay combined with other microphones. I think you can get a pretty good sound. So check out these recordings I did with my oven. Uh, I've got them all labeled with the microphones being used. The slow motion one sound pretty nice. Yeah, so let's give them a listen. <laughs> Did you hear the mic? 